My name is Albert Hicks. I'm a heart failure transplant cardiologist in the Department of Medicine. I currently serve as an assistant professor of medicine and uh, recently have been promoted to the medical director of heart transplant. So I care for heart failure patients, those with uh, heart failure with preserved and heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. Um, it's basically all types of patients that have heart failure. I also care for patients that have advanced heart failure that require mechanical support, like with a heart pump or LVAD or heart transplantation. The simplest way to describe heart failure, it's the inability of the heart to meet the demands of the body. Whether that's a metabolic demand, whether that's its pump function, um, and sometimes whether it's electrical function. The average person that has heart failure is misdiagnosed four to five times before they actually get the diagnosis of heart failure. And to be able to look someone in the eye and let them know that what they're feeling is real. And um, not only is it real, but we can treat it at various levels is empowering. Patients with heart failure, when diagnosed, have about a 50% chance of dying within five years. So the first goal is to get them quantity of life to help them live longer. The second thing is to make sure that the years that they're here are spent with quality, so out of the hospital with as little fluid as possible. We have a lot of advances. Here at University of Maryland, we've uh, had advances in various types of transplant. Obviously, we know about human transplant. Um, we've actually done the uh, world's first Xeno transplant here at University of Maryland. Um, but even looking at some of our more contemporary therapies, we have medicines that help to keep people that have failing hearts alive longer. We have medicines that can help failing hearts actually improve function. And we have medicines that can help people live a better quality of life. We also have devices that we can place in people that can monitor them, uh, monitor their fluid levels, can help them to manage their heart failure, not just in the hospital, but outside of the hospital.